Hello and thank you for watching. My name is Rachel Barnett with Gentle Frog. I'm here to create videos for you to help you understand QuickBooks slightly better than you currently do. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please put them in the chat box. Thank you. Hi, this is Rachel Barnett from Gentle Frog. In this video, I'm going to show you how to map an item to your customer prepaid or customer liability account. I'm demonstrating this using QuickBooks Premier 2022, but this will work for all versions of QuickBooks Desktop. Let's go ahead and start by just looking at the liability account. If I go to list and then chart of accounts, you can see the customer prepaid funds. This is the liability account that I want to map my item to. So let's go ahead and make an item and map it to this account. I'm going to go to list. I'm going to go to item list. At the bottom, I'm going to click on item and then new. I'm going to make it a service. Um, let's item name number. Let's go customer deposit. Um, description. Um, this is the customer deposit. There really isn't a rate to associate to this. All right, so let's go to account. Typically, this is where you'd pick your income account. I'm going to come down here. I'm going to select my liability account, customer prepaid funds. I'm going to select OK. And there it is. It's now mapped. My item is now mapped to my customer prepaid funds. In a different video, I'll show you how to put this on the invoice when collecting the deposit and then how to take it off of the invoice when using the deposit. If you have any questions or concerns, please don't hesitate to let me know. You can leave them in the comments down below. If you'd like to see step-by-step -step instructions with pictures, we'll go ahead and supply a link to that in the description for this video. Thank you so much and have a great day.